In this video, I want to talk about how we go about deriving the variance of maximum likelihood estimators. And I'm going to talk about a specific example, which is the example we've been covering in the last few videos, which is that when we have a error, which is itself normally distributed. Okay, so at the end of the last video, we derived these two expressions for the derivative of the log likelihood with respect to the two parameters in question, mu and sigma squared. And what we're going to do in this video is we are looking to derive an expression for what I defined in the last video or the last few videos as the information matrix. And it's going to be a matrix in this circumstance because we're talking about estimating two particular parameters. We've got mu and sigma squared. And just to remind ourselves exactly what the information matrix is, is it's the minus of the expectation of the second derivative of the log likelihood with respect to the two parameter vectors, so theta and theta primed in this particular example, where theta here just represents the vector mu sigma squared and theta primed is just the transpose of that particular vector. So the information matrix in this circumstance is going to have four different values. In the top left, it's going to have d2l over d mu squared. The bottom right is going to have d2l over d sigma squared all squared. So I'm just differentiating with respect to sigma squared twice. The sort of above component is going to be d2l over d mu d sigma squared. And the bottom left component is going to be dtl over d sigma squared d, uh, if I can write it properly, d mu. And this, as you might expect, is a symmetric matrix because it doesn't matter the order in which we actually differentiate these two terms. And I should write out the front here that we're going to also be taking out minus the expectation of each of these terms. Okay, so there's something that I should mention first off, which is the fact that we don't know the parameters mu and sigma squared, right? And intuitively, when I differentiate this expression up here with respect to mu or sigma squared or this other expression up here, then we're going to get something which contains mu and sigma squared parameters we do not know. So how can we actually go ahead and estimate the information matrix in this particular circumstance? Well, it turns out that if we use our maximum likelihood estimators of mu and, in this case, sigma squared, so mu hat and sigma square hat, then it turns out that this is itself convergent in probability to the information matrix in the sort of limit that the population size tends to infinity. And that's because both mu hat and sigma squared hat are themselves consistent estimators. 